So as you may know already, uh, if you've been checking on your emails and you're currently using Trust Payments as your payment provider for your competition website, you notice that Visa has, uh, for one reason or another, I'm not entirely sure of the exact detail, uh, has come down on Trust Payments and they no longer are accepting uh, merchants and going forward uh, with any existing merchants using Visa. So what that leaves us to do is basically find another home for our payment gateway and obviously in this business it's not as simple as just going to PayPal or Stripe or whatever and starting an account without speaking to anybody. Uh, so this video is going to be in three parts. So obviously this one, the kind of bad news is anybody with Trust Payments I would recommend moving away mostly because from the 31st of May you're only going to be able to accept MasterCard on your uh, website. The second one is go on to apply for the new payment gateway. Now the good news is this payment gateway is actually very robust and does things potentially a wee bit more modern uh, than Trust Payments. Now their hosted payment page is what we'll be using, has Apple Pay, Google Pay. You'll also get next day settlements uh, and all the rest, so all those good features that you want with your website. So you'll be deposited more often into your account, which means you can scale up your competition website even faster. So we'll go into that where I've got a form for you to fill in. It means it'll go directly to the people <clears throat> within Cashflows and then they know exactly where you're coming from, the kind of business that you're running, so you can get set up usually within a few days. But realistically, you'll want to be away from Trust Payments uh, by the 31st of May and switched over to this uh, new gateway. So after all that's done, what I'm going to do is show you exactly how to install the plugin create and style your hosted payment page. It means that once you go on to the final payment page where people will be paying their money essentially, uh, you'll be able to style that with your logo, your color scheme, and change a few bits and bobs to really maximize that kind of conversion uh, percentage. All right, so let's get into it. Bit of a long intro, but I suppose it needed to be said. Okay, so the first link in the description is going to be going towards this form. Now this form, like I just said in the intro there, it's going to go directly to Cashflows into their kind of implementation team, their sales team, all the rest of it, who will get in touch with you directly uh, and you can work with them just to get set up. Send all the documents that you may need, uh, just like any other kind of payment gateway. They're usually super fast at getting this set up and you trading straight away. Uh, not even trading, but if you're existing, um, user of trust payments and you're already trading then you can do both in tandem so go ahead fill in all this information usually one to two business days so if you do submit an application on a friday it might be you know monday or tuesday before they get the time to get back to you but it all depends on their workload so go ahead fill in this information sends it all off to them and then they'll either contact you by email or by um your phone number so make sure you get all that information correct in this form Next, I will give you a cash flows account where basically it goes, it shows you all the information that's been happening on your website when it comes to trading and payment gateways, uh, how much money you're taking, and you can have it. You can really see the difference here from Trust Payments. It's a lot more modern, a lot more features, a lot more kind of filters, and how you can see how your uh, website's transacting over the months and days and all the rest of it. So it's good uh, analytics wise that way. But what we want to get to is how do we implement this into our website? So what we do is first go to configuration and you'll see this is my test account. So you'll see the API or configuration ID and uh, current API key. So these are all very important, these two areas. But what we want to do first is click on the hosted payment pages. Now I'm not, not going to go super into depth, but I'm going to create a hosted payment page. And you can play with this all as much as you like. Uh, to really get round to exactly how you want yours to look. So if you want to first of all go to logo top left after you've created your first uh, hosted payment page, use custom logo and then upload a logo directly from your computer. So whether that you go to your website, uh, save image, that gets saved to your desktop, upload the image directly from it, downloads, there it is. Busy, busy, busy. It'll now apply that directly to your hosted payment page. So it shows your logo at the top. But maybe you want to change the background. So at the moment, it might be like a whitish background. You can then go through the page background, see that the color is currently white. 
and for whatever reason you want to make it red <laughs> but you know all that kind of good stuff you can literally copy and paste whatever um hex code directly in here should be for directly from your computer but most likely it's either going to be white that matches your website or it's going to be black that matches your website if you have a you know like a gold logo or something that stands out or a red logo for that matter if you do have a background background you can then change your text color to white i think oh no you can probably just leave that black because it seems to be within that section i'm going to leave that as white and go back you don't need to save every time you finish editing something you can just keep on it um going until you're finished and then click save at the very bottom bottom left hand corner just down here you probably can't see that very well make that a bit bigger so you then go to i would say the main ones you want to change are your logo and then your content header so within content header you can kind of see that this is a purple color i'm going to match this to my logo so it's going to be black but also the text color on it should that be uh, too light for you i would say then change this from uh, white to black but obviously for this uh, black background we're going to leave that as white then head on down uh, there's a couple of small things i want to hide the order number i just feel like the customers don't need to see that data they just need to see how much they're going to be spending uh, and of course you can't see it just now but this does support apple pay google pay uh, all those kind of you know next generation payment methods uh, a lot of people are asking me about paypal these days and um, while they are starting to warm up to competition websites they still make you th jump through a lot of legal hoops and get solicitors involved to make sure everything is tickety-boo all that kind of stuff but their their fees are astronomical it might be 20p plus 3.4 percent or something along those lines which really eats into your your profit margin uh, so i would say this style if you can get people to save their cards and if you can get people to use their apple pay google pay it's a, even a quicker i know people love paypal because it it exudes trust but that's uh, i would say 15 years out of date from now but it's completely up to you it's your it's your business <laughs> at the end of the day uh, so that's all the changes that I would really make. You can really drill into all of these and make it your completely your own. Uh, all the changes are shown in real time right in front of you. So you can't really mess up. You can't uh, publish something that you didn't think had happened. And it really does show you straight away. Uh, so bottom left, once you're done, you can click save changes. So you get a nice, nice wee notification. Really nicely designed website. And then after that, where it says draft, I have them my WordPress, by the way, just in case yours is something different. Click the three dots, click and activate. There you go. So that is now active. So what we want to do now that the hosted payment page is active, click on API data. I'm going to, for ease of use, click on configuration ID, click on copy. Then this is obviously the base template. So what we're going to do is go to install plugin. So add new search box just type in cash flows top right so i actually ha already have this active <clears throat> but you go ahead click on up or install now and then click on active after that you can then go straight to settings once it's active go to payments and then you'll have this box at the very top so i've just copied my integration id that which is there make sure you line these up properly because the idiot I am, I did not line these up properly and contact support and look like an idiot. <laughs> so configuration ID, so everybody does it. So what you'll probably get is you'll not have a test account. You'll probably just go straight to live, uh, which is fine. So what you would do is actually put the configuration ID in production here. And then when it comes to the uh, current API key, you click then copy, bring that across. You would then put the API key in here but because I'm testing, integration basically means testing. I'm gonna click on here. I'm integration mode, so this is testing mode, so I'm gonna leave that checked. You will probably leave this unchecked. Uh, you can check Google Analytics for cash flows. I'm not entirely sure what this does yet, but make sure that these two sections are then checked. This sends more customer information to cash flows. It means that they uh, will have a record of exactly what's in that order, and and you can really search and drill into that yourself to give yourself more information should you need to at some point check into that bottom left then you can click on save changes 
and that is all good there but one last thing you need to do is where it says cards via cash flows you can click on it make sure that's checked so one thing i also like to do is where it says cards i go cards apple pay and google pay so obviously apple pay and google pay are only show up when you click onto them and you have uh, a card saved to either your apple pay or google pay device um, and ready to go from there i'm going to copy that put it in here click on save changes now if i go back to the home page i bring something say we go to this 911 we can head on down oh it looks like i've already bought tickets for that one so let's go for the iphone you can then go down you can either click on how many uh, tickets you want or you can use this new slider obviously this has not been released yet but it's a wee bit of a preview for people who are still watching you can click less or more or 10 more slide it to exactly how many you want so there's 15 i'm going to answer the question everything updates for you click on enter view basket proceed to checkout so once your checkout loads you'll now have something that looks like this below it's got a nice picture of a card shows all your order information all you have to do is click on i am over 18 blah 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 place order this will then check redirect you over to the new payment page now obviously you can simulate payment and do all this uh, or you can simulate live environment i actually haven't done this just yet but this is basically what it will look like you'll be able to put your car details in you'll be able to check um what's this so yeah the car details number here if you've got apple pay on your device it will show up uh, as expected but because this is a hosted payment page you don't have to do anything you don't have to keep up to date with anything it does it all for you and that is actually pretty much the beauty of it uh, once you hit successful payment there you go so all this will go into the account now it says tickets will be shown after payment confirms it's probably most likely because i'm on a test environment at the moment but maybe if i refresh this actually yeah so all those ticket numbers go in all shown because the payment has now confirmed so all good hopefully if you have any questions or if you do have any questions please leave them in the comments below uh, usually you will not be the only one with that issue if you have an issue and it means that next time someone else comes along to um, fix an issue they may have, they might, it might be in the comments. But hopefully uh, that has been a good video for you. So I know it might be a bit of a shock to leave trust payments, but you know it will all work out in, in the long run. You can uh, carry on with your business as usual. Okay, guys. Cheers. Until the next one with the slider uh, update coming soon. All right. Cheers.